Yes, YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video, as you probably already guessed from today's intro, we're going to be taking a look at the Firebelly Toad Paladarium. It is in need of a water change, a little bit of maintenance, we'll take a look at some of the plants and just getting it looking a lot better. I do want to get some more plants for this, but unfortunately I went down to my local reptile store today and they didn't have the sort of plants that I was after, but I did buy some more Bromelia for Castro's tank, not that she hasn't had enough lately. But don't worry, I'm not going to be doing that in today's video. I know we've been looking at Castro's tank quite a lot in the last couple of videos. But I think it's enough me waffling on. Oh, and I don't probably promote my merch enough, but considering we're doing the Firebelly's Toads, check out the Firebelly Toad shirt. So these are available, and I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in these as well, as well as plenty of the reptile fish keeping designs, as well as channel merch and all sorts. So show me your support, buy a t shirt, a mug. These things are expensive. That's enough me waffling on. Let's get on with today's video. Okay, so I just did the water change and clean down the glass first so you have a better view and you see what I'm doing. But some of these plants need to run back. Like you see the creeping figs doing really, really well at the moment. It's creeping up the back and started to creep along to the other side. But there's some bits growing down into the water area which are not doing great so we may as well trim them off, give the plant enough resources to look after the healthy plants and not the sick ones. So we'll do that. Obviously some of the aquatic plants like the java fern and some of the anubias has come detached so we'll reattach those. Just generally tied it up and like I said I will be getting some plants for this in the future and I'm considering going back to the baby tears like we had in here before. The last time they got scorched because I didn't cover up the window in the summer and the sun completely wiped them out. So if you have any thoughts and let me know in the comment section below. But let's get on. Let's get these frogs sorted. Just get on.
Okay, so we managed to get the tank a lot cleaner, a lot better. We've trimmed some of the deadish plants off. Now, the Mondo grass in the back, I was really excited about getting now because it seemed like a perfect plant for this. You'll commonly see that sometimes sold in aquarium shops or fish tank shops um, as aquatic plants, but they're not really. They are meant to be for boggy areas, but some of them are surviving. I can see some new shoots and stuff, but there's still a lot of die off on them. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with that long term. We'll probably persevere, but I would like to get some baby tears or some, what's the common name? Mind your own business. That's the name and not just telling to mind your own business. Um, in there again, we did have that in a tank before and I think it was my favorite setup for this tank when we had it, probably the best has ever looked. So we'll carry on doing that. Obviously we reattached some of the aquatic plants, the Java fern and some of the Anubias. Now I did use super glue in this, which is a little bit risky when you've got animals in here, but I made sure that if I did add super glue, the plants were covering any of the wet glue, and I did keep an eye on this for a while until I knew it was set. Obviously the last thing you want is your, flog your flogs, frogs, it's stuck. It sensitive little skin to the rocks or the bottom. Disaster, so just be mindful with that. Usually I take them out, but I just made sure I took extra time to make sure it was dry. But this is still definitely one of my favorite setups. It's been one of the longest setups I've had, I think other than Castro Tank, and I obviously used to be for Bert. But it's coming on really nicely, I think. I have sort of thought of what we're gonna do with this in the future. Now I have talked about getting a four foot paludarium, so probably like a four foot aquarium really, in this area. Now I do have some animals in mind, but I haven't even considered whether we upgrade these into that. So still thinking, but the animals I'm thinking of are really exciting to be fair. So we'll see how time goes on and we've got some other setups and some other projects to go in the future as well, as well as a, another uh, three by three by one and a half foot terrarium, similar to Castro, just in a different color and a new animal to come. We've also got a lot of new upgrades and we're gonna be doing a lot of aquascaping going forward once I can get the shelving in the alcove. And there's plenty of new things to come. So if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. As well, go and check out your Fire Belly Toe t-shirts. I'll put the picture up so you can see it better than me doing this. Um, but any of the support, any of the money that you throw towards this channel will go straight back into this channel and helping me care for these animals and making this a better channel overall for me and for you especially. But I think that's enough of me waffling on for one video. I know this is a short one. The Wednesday videos intended to be a little bit shorter than the Sunday videos where we'll carry on with builds and things like that. I just like to try and give you general updates on things. And obviously things with COVID, ooh, things with the virus in the world, if I say that, I'll be demonetized. Um, I've come back and my country's actually, Wales is going back into full lockdown from this Friday. So I've ever sat back there, but there's plenty to get on with in this room and on this channel. But I'm waffling on again. Thanks for joining me. I'll put a little compilation and some footage of this tank right at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. But that's enough of me talking. Drop me a like, leave me a comment. See you next time.